With a clinched fist, acting president of the Patriotic Front, given Luinda making an appearance before the Anti-Corruption Commission on Corruption Allegations. Looking forward for an arrest, Mr. Luinda spent over one hour at the commission before being arrested and charged with five counts of corruption involving over $539,000. According to the commission, Mr. Luinda is alleged to have acquired properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime, among them a house valued at $260,000 situated at Kingsland City. The commission also says the suspect also possessed various amounts of money in his bank account, domiciled at Absa Bank amounting to $280,000. Ayon Kali, he says, he is happy that the commission has decided to arrest him. The law is not only there to protect those who are alleged, it is also there to protect those who are accused. So I'm happy finally that I've been given an opportunity to appear before court so that people can go and prove the criminal offences that they are alleging are committed. To also give me an opportunity to be heard because so far it has only been innuendo upon innuendo. So I want to say Thank you very much for listening to me. I also told you, in governance, you should learn from those who have been there before you. We have been there before, we know how to govern, and we're willing to give you free advice on how to govern this great country called Zambia. Remember, this is not a farmstead, this is a nation, a country with people with divergent views. How is it that it's only PF who are called criminals? Very soon we shall also be asking for those we suspect to be criminals on the other side of the political divide to be presented to law enforcement agencies. Earlier before his arrest, dozens of UPND cadres stormed the commission to disrupt the PF choir members who had been singing solidarity songs, waiting for the outcome of the interrogations. The presence of the cadres caused panic among the choir members and some traders who scampered in all directions, avoiding the commotion. The police have overcome the situation. The PF cadres all ran to the police seeking protection. If they are not cadres, then who are they? Are those the leaders of UPND who have come to pelt our people? Is it an offence for members of the Patriotic Front to come and see their president being arrested? What offence have they committed? Who did they injure? They gathered here and they, in the presence of the police, they came and said pelting stones against our people. This shows you that we are in a crisis. We're in a country where people will tell you that this is white. In the night, they turn it black. After the situation normalised, the of our members were seen jumping on police vehicles in their plain clothes for protection. Dallas, Johnny, Diamond News.